love. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Today our message is titled One with Spirit and this is part two. And we are talking about identifying the spirit. Um, We're going to be reading out of uh, Matthew 7 today as well, 15 through 20, because we kind of skipped over that in the last message, right? But it, this that, that part of uh, Matthew 7 is relevant to this message. So I did not give you um, the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. So before I start, I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, let this word go out and be edifying to your children as well as edifying to myself. Speak through me. Let it be all of you and none of me. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Okay. So, um, I don't like when it, the screen go dark. <laughs> so, listen. Okay, so I did not give you the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind, right? So in the elimination process of our transformation in Christ, there are key verses in the Bible that give us insight of what is not from God, uncovering the source of our consciousness in the moment will correct our path. This is why it's important to ponder the word of God to understand the ways of God, right? So this is why um, we are instructed to meditate on the word of God. And because in that meditation, it is revealed to us because we choose to believe it. It's eventually revealed to us what God is saying and why he's saying it and, and, and how we apply that to our lives. Okay, so bringing all things into the knowledge of Christ. Now, we have to bring all things that we study and read and um, research into the knowledge of Christ because that is our way that we discern right so the scripture reference reminds us to keep the word of god as our source and all other teachings as a reference to grow in discernment and to shield the masses against falsehoods and lies that bring confusion and go against the true nature of god um, but most importantly shield yourself as working through these falsehoods in the flesh is a task that requires faith, endurance, and submission. Okay, because it's not easy to constantly have discernment because our flesh gets in the way. And we start to try to um, kind of validate our stance on things versus just letting things be and going within to kind of commune with the Holy Spirit to get an understanding of whether we're right or wrong, right? And if we are wrong, to be okay with that, because that is the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, right? Because he comes to correct us. He's an intercessor for us in heaven, right? Where our hearts are being corrected. Like my own heart is being <laughs> corrected, right? So um, it is a process. So now we can go to Matthew 17, 15 through 20. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but the title of our message is identifying the spirit, right? So we're identifying the spirit because when we are following spirit, when we are one with spirit, when that is our goal to be one with spirit, we have to also identify the different spirits that we're operating out of or the different spirits that are in our vicinity or that is speaking to us or you know speaking through us whatever we have to identify spirits right so matthew 7 15 through 20 reads i'm trying to keep this thing straight because i don't like darkness <laughs> okay so beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravening wolves right so that means like something is going on like is the there's different spirits on the earth where people are just not like you have to operate in the spirit of god right you have those are you will know them by their fruits right so 
Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles, right? So when we look at this verse, we're saying like, okay, if you looking for some fruit, are you going to get like thorns or are you going to gather the grapes, right? So if you're gathering fruit in a harvest season and you're gathering these fruits for nourishment, are you going to like grab bare branches or are you going to grab onto things that give you substance, the sweet things, right, that nourishes you, that fills you that can make wine or you know grapes make wine or whatever even so every good tree bringing forth good fruit right so if we're looking at the tree we're looking at and if we can reference the tree of life in this regard we're looking at what's going to give us what 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 calms our spirit what brings us to a place of understanding what gives us comfort right not comfort in our um you know our bad behavior but comfort in our spirit meaning it gives us understanding and insight with love and care and stuff like that right and so a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit neither even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit, right? So, yeah. So, a good, freak, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So, this is how we um, discern the spirit in which we're operating in, which other people are operating in. And even a spirit that is like influencing a situation, a conversation, an, an atmosphere. And this is when we, in our faith, we go into prayer. In our faith, we are um, able to recognize and shield ourselves and others from certain entities that might come up against them right but that would mean you know some things is out of your hands sometimes you have to remove yourself okay so um every tree that bringeth for bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire now this verse kind of i was contemplating this verse a little bit in regards to the fire right because we look at the fire as the holy spirit right representative of the holy spirit so if you are um if the tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire there's still a reference of spirit there right so your spirit is not at rest and it being cast into the fire is like the resemblance or the um relatability of hell right and hell being a place where you are not at peace and a place where the spirit of god is not there for you to kind of um dwell in grow from um receive nourishment from right so every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire so that's like that you don't want to be there right so you don't want to be there so you are kind of monitoring your own behavior your own thoughts your own um perceptions of life so that you can remain in the um love and the freedom that is given to us through the through jesus christ and so um that is minding the spirit okay so where wherefore by their fruits you shall know them Okay, loves, be blessed, be well, be whole, and we'll talk soon. Blessings.